right. Hello, everyone. <laughs> uh, so um, Jared was uh, teasing me on Twitter that I should do some more streaming. Uh, so there you go. I, I, um, I think I found the issue with the board, so I decided we should do some more streaming, I think, because uh, I have a few more boards to rework. And um, I can show you something about that, but I should probably tell everyone about it. So be right back. There we go. Uh, so I did not uh, announce it at all. So I should probably All right. Um. Still have it linked somewhere there. Okay. Okay. All right. There I am. <clears throat> so, uh, what happened uh, in the last stream? Uh, we were trying to we assembled all the um, icebreaker boards, or all uh, three of them, and. Um, I was uh, quite disappointed that they didn't work. <laughs> and then um, after having some dinner and having some food and uh, feeling a little bit uh, less uh, flustered, I came back to uh, look at the board a little bit more. So what I did is we tested the uh, flash chip, uh, which is uh, this part here. Uh, let's see. So. Let me zoom out a little bit. And there is this flash chip here. So we dis disordered the flash chip and I was like, oh, maybe this there is a configuration issue. But uh, what it turns out, it was uh, me being dumb. So when I was laying out that board and I was creating this schematic and I, I took a shortcut to basically have something for the oscillator to put there, I used an oscillator in the past uh, for another project. So I decided that um, the easiest thing to do would be uh, to uh, put um, in the symbol that is just a normal, um, normal uh, oscillator symbol, where which has uh, VDD, ground, out, and um, like enable pin. Um, I, I just decided to put that in. But what I didn't do is adjust it so that it can take the SOT uh, 235 uh, footprint, which would be this part. And what uh, happened is the actual part, let me see, uh, I have it somewhere open there. There is the chip and it's completely different pinout. So, if you look at this on top, it's five and four. Are five is out, and this is ground. This is VDD, so it's completely wrong. The bottom is output enable and not connected in ground. So it, this would be uh, enable. This would be VCC. Oh, geez. So uh, completely wrong. Uh, totally screwed up. Um, so what I had to do is. Uh, then I, how I came the, to that was uh, basically I thought, oh well, it's the chip next to it is just the oscillator, so let me just um, 
um, measure it if there is a clock coming up from it because it's a new chip I have not used it before so uh, I might have screwed it up and um, um, then I connected the oscilloscope here in the back uh, to it and it's like oh there's no clock what is going on then I took my multimeter there's no clock there's everything is static what's going on here um, so then I looked it up and immediately found the issue. So that, uh, that was pretty easy. I, we will see if that's the only issue of the board or just the beginning of a chain of issues. So th th this is normal thing. You just build stuff, uh, you take a shortcut somewhere, you didn't think about that to recheck that and then at the end you have a mistake. So what I did is uh, I desoldered the clocks from all the boards uh, so that is this chip here and I uh, took some uh, um, uh, oh I also <laughs> took a piece of paper and drew out the footprint and thought about it what would be the best orientation to put the part back on the board and wire it in with the right pinout because Respinning the board that will take forever. So let's just bulge it back into the position with the correct pinout um, anyways, uh, ah, one more thing, I wanted to do this. Oh, microphone is very slow. Uh, all right, so, come on. Yeah. So now, um, after desoldering these p these chips and figuring out what might be the best orientation, I decided that uh, flipping the chip upside down and rotating it uh, 180 is probably the best solution because then, if you look at the board, I will have. Um, so this is the pad for um, just this. Uh, this is the pad for power, this is the pad for clock output that goes into the FTDI chip, this is the uh, enable pin, and then by flipping this around I have power input, so VCC here, so I can connect it directly here. I have the clock output here, I can connect it directly to here. Then this one enable pin has to go all across to here, and I have a ground pin here that I have to connect. And this one is not connected. So I did that. Um, and we ended up with this wonderful bodge. Um, let me zoom in this beauty here. There you go. Isn't that wonderful? So let me turn it around to the same orientation that we were showing just a second ago. I basically, after gluing it down with uh, um, super glue upside down on the board, I just created a blob of solder here, a blob of solder here, and then create, then scraped off some solder mask here soldered it down and connected the wire across. So we'll do that on the two other boards because why not? Mm, uh, Jared wanted to see that so I at least one person that wants to see me do this bodge wire rework here. So I will do that. So yeah. Um, anyways, I hope you are having either a good morning or Good, uh, good night, evening, and relaxing nicely, and um, we will see how this goes. And uh, if everything goes well, um, then we will have a hopefully a working board. So what I did is bend this down. That's sketchy, but it works. There's some glue that got in there. Um, then we have this guy. This one has to be cracked. It's also glue. And then moved over. Moved over. 
And then we have these pins. We have the script. So uh, let's solder it down first. one did you see that I hope you saw that just surface tension this is much longer let me do this this way this is two this is the clock I'm not sure this is uh, kosher, but it should do the work. So I, I measured it on the oscilloscope, and the oscilloscope was saying um, that we have something around 12.2 megahertz. I, don't, I hope this is close enough. This is more than 10% off. But yeah, my oscilloscope is not the greatest, so... I wouldn't trust it too much. Also, let me, yeah, it's exactly 12 actually. It's like if I adjust it to the right uh, level on the, on the signal, I should make a screenshot of this. I need an oscilloscope that I can connect to, uh, to the streaming setup so I can show you that in the future. But at the moment, uh, a screenshot will have to suffi suffice. So this here is the screenshot, and I will drop it into the Gitter chat when it uploads. So yeah, that's the that's the board that I um, reworked just a minute ago. And one item uploading. You can do it. There we go. Uploading, upload complete. There we go, downloads. Okay, here you go, get a chat. All right, so, um, mm, just checking really quick. Yeah, there we go. So that's the that's the oscilloscope signal. Um, yeah, it's uh, it's on the left lower corner in the chat. Uh, you should be seeing the uh, oscilloscope, uh, and it's exactly twelve megahertz as it should be. Um, so that's nice. Uh, let's see. Okay. All right. All good. And now we will continue reworking this guy. So this is uh, my messy. So what we will do here, next thing, will be to create a ground pad because we have a ground plane here. And we can just scrape it off and just rely on the brunt force of the JBC soldering iron that it will be able to solder down to the ground plane here. <laughs> which is, which is, uh, hopefully will happen. So let me just create a blob underneath. So pretend this, uh, hopefully. This will take a little bit to warm up. This is under the pad, so you don't see the 3D uh, of where the and I will bend the leg down to connect to the newly created pad. There we go. Still waiting. Needs to bond the solder to the copper here. Takes a little bit to, there we go. 
There we go. Slowly creating a pad. create a blob very nice yeah you you see how it is crystallizing immediately it's uh, really difficult to keep the heat because the ground plane wants to just drag it out like a heat sink Not sure what I would be doing with my wonderful GBC. I probably would have a met cow. <laughs> but yeah, they're pretty good uh, soldering irons, both of them. So yeah, I will bend this down because it, I need it out of the way. And there we go, so that it is nice and flat. So now we have to create the connection for the remaining uh, enable pad. So this is an enable pin and it has a resistor there that is specific uh, to enable the chip. It's like 10K or something it has to be. It can be more than that or something like that. So let me scrape off a little bit copper from the, from the wire, from the magnet wire. Then we take some solder and create a blob that we can pretend the tip to get the rest of the enamel paint from it. Come on, enamel paint, burn off. I'm not happy with this. Okay. <laughs> Thanks, Miodrak. Uh, and uh, good morning. I think you are, it should be morning for you, shouldn't it? Uh, nice to have you here on the stream. It's really late here. I should be relaxing, watching YouTube <laughs> and going to bed. But yeah, I, I really wanted to fix this. I'm glad. Uh, you were able to join. So here we go. Um, I have the magnet wire and now we can just adjust the length of it. How much do we want? Something like this. Click. Now we need to get to the tip, just the tip and um, remove some of the some of the enamel paint on here. And on the bottom. Yeah, so welcome everyone who is uh, watching the stream for the first time because I don't think I have ever streamed at uh, such a late hour for me. So I think some people, especially in Europe, are able to join for the first time because uh, I'm also not, not streaming very early in the morning for me. So it's not for you at the night, at night. So it's really difficult for anyone in in European time zones to watch my streams because it's probably most of the the occasions are middle of the night for you. It's only uh, hardcore hackers that uh, live at night uh, that are able to join the streams. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> 
Yeah, Miodrak. That's. Uh, I, I hope I'm pronouncing your name correctly. I'm sorry if I'm not. Uh, so, uh, Miodrak, the, the. Yeah, I, I just figured out I, I made the complete blunder on the PCB. And uh, I have to compensate now with uh, dead bugs and. Uh, <laughs> and magnet wire and that's that's the price you pay for missing a thing okay so i think this is good okay that should be fine now let me see if uh, this enumerates Mm -hmm. LSUSB, so it shouldn't be there. But now, when we plug it in, yep, there it is, FTDI, future technology. So this one is enumerating. So the second one is resurrected. Now we have one more to go. So yeah, uh, we have now the 12 megahertz clock Okay, uh, which one is it? No, I'm blind. It's really late. Anyways, <laughs> uh, third one. Let's uh, fix that one too. Uh, there we go. Yeah, I probably should make, make myself a keyboard like Micah has, where she has this uh, really awesome uh, flexible keyboard that she has buttons on that uh, directly changes the scenes. But what she also has is a separate uh, monitor to, um, to uh, uh, have the preview of the um, OBS uh, active at, at all times so that she doesn't have to switch all around. So yeah, I need a dedicated streaming machine. It's uh, quite an investment again. But yeah, eventually I should do that because this will make streaming easier and uh, hopefully also better quality for you guys because I can then crank up the encoding scheme. All right, so there you go. So that's the, that, now we have one more. I hope it won't break off because this is, seems like it wants to break off. Let me rotate this. Oh no, it connected to the pad underneath. Oh, it's the not connected pad, okay, good. Doesn't matter. It's an NC pad. So it's not a big deal. There we go. It's a very long. So this this pad here underneath that it, it just soldered itself to is an NC pad on the layout. Uh, so that's fine. Yeah, you, you need a stereo microscope uh, to actually see it because I, I see that on the video. It's not really visible. I'm not sure you saw that, that it just uh, sucked itself down onto the pad. Mm, yeah, well, we have two that seem to be working so far, so that's good. So after we're done with this, we can... Um, we can see if we can uh, update the schematic in the board. I think we should call it uh, the next revision of the board. It should be uh, 0 0.1b hardware revision because we have more stuff that we want to do to the board, um, like uh, the 
uh, capacitors that I was talking about, the 4.7 4 microfarad capacitors that are in uh, 0402 packages. We don't need to do that. We have the space to do a bigger package. Come on, come on, be nice. It takes a little bit of time for the ground plane to heat up. There we go. It's getting there. Touching. Perfect. Yes. All right. Let me just bend it down. There we go. Very nice. All right, we got it. It's better than the previous one. Um, the ground connection. Let's get this out of the way because we don't need it. And we will be connecting to this guy over here. Spend it out also so that we don't snag on it. Okay. Okay. Uh, I'm checking if the YouTube chat is uh, actually working uh, because that sometimes is necessary. There we go. Just wanted to make sure that the chat is all working. Good, good, good. Because sometimes people do say something in there. Mm -hmm. Come on. Is that the, what is going on here? Why is it so? Why does it look so pristine? Oh, that looks very unscathed here. Let's try that better. Okay. Very nice. There we go. So that's the enable wire. And we can bend it around like this. And we can remove this here. There we go. It's still too too long, huh? There we go. Better. Okay. 
Okay. Now we need to stretch it out a little bit because I need to get the enamel paint from the wire so that I can tin it. hot I'm not happy with it the problem is if you fiddle with it too much it uh, becomes a problem because the flux is uh, all evaporated and it just all becomes a mess all right so let's see Let's see again. And uh, this USB, there shouldn't be one. Yes, and now let's connect it. Yeah, there you go. All right, so we have this guy uh, all enumerated. So now the question is, um, can we... Um, so we have an enumeration, and now the question is, can we get some um, code? So first of all, I'm pretty sure I have to update iStorm uh, on my computer, um, because I'm pretty sure it is outdated, and it doesn't contain any of the, because I did it, pff, what, half a year ago, the last time I have updated it? Uh, important thing I should, Oops, sort of paste back into the mesh uh, into the fridge because I just saw it all right so let me move this all right how does it look here there you go so we have now three of these boards and we have to try to get some uh, bitstream uploaded into the flash chip and see if this thing comes up. But to do that, uh, first of all, it's... Uh, oh, I can switch on some more lights because I was really quickly trying to get things going. Uh, yeah, so where are we? We're in tow boot. That's not the right thing. Yeah, yeah. I, I thanks, Mjodrak. That's uh, I. I'm with updating iStorm. I mean, updating all the packages. So, uh, flex example. Get get get. Yeah. Do I have any changes here? No. So that's merged. Now, uh,
So which is the order? I don't remember now by hard. Do I do uh, Yosis first? Uh, oh God, yeah. no, Ice Storm, Ice Storm installation. I think that's where it was. Yeah, if I scroll down to Ice Storm installation, two, 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 where is it? I remember it was here. Yeah, there it was. Git clone. See the ice storm make so basically ice storm first, arachnapinar second, and then Yosis third. Yeah, so uh, there was something with uh, where did I install it? Uh, And because I think I ins didn't install it. <sighs> Test there. I did something to get in there. Oh, that was a while ago. I think I installed it in my home directory in tools, bin. No. Uh, user local bin uses. Okay, so it did install just uh, there. Okay, um, let's make clean first. make uh, j8 so the stream might fi fail because I am killing it wait let's do six in the hopes that I will not kill the stream because it's the same machine yeah let me know if the stream fails because that's very possible Fifteen percent. So yeah, that will take a little bit. Oh, and I'm doing it wrong because we have to start with ice storm, right? Yeah. It is killing it. <laughs> okay, great. Ah, uh, yeah. Uh, well, I have to compile it. I don't think I have an option. The FTDI chips in general are a ripoff, if you ask me. But um, there is not really an uh, alternative to them. No one came up with a similar chip that uh, could compete. Really, it's like everything else is is not the same. So. It, even in quantity, they are still very pricey, and I think they are overpriced. <clears throat> uh. 
Ah, drippy drip. But the water is good. Yeah, I'm the problem with the CH chips, as far as I remember, or anything else than uh, FTDI, is they don't have as much of flexible protocol support. So in case of this, uh, you need a chip that can support SPI as a protocol, or you can at least bitbang SPI as a protocol. Um, if you can't do that reliably, uh, it's, uh, it's not really, it's no good. Okay, so that's installed. Then uh, Arachne PNR is the second. And I think it installed in user local bin. Good, good, good. Yeah, I wish someone uh, took took uh, Risk Five implementation, added on it uh, something similar to the. Uh, what the uh, FX2s or FX3s have and add a USB 2 and a USB 3 protocol or uh, driver on it, it made an awesome chip. That would be great. I would buy it. And made them affordable for reasonable prices. <laughs> so yeah, there you go. That's my dream. Arachne PNR. So place and route. So we compiled uh, compiling place and so this uh, in the logic cells of the um, of the ice 40 of the fabric so we need to compile that and then the third uh, part will be Yosis itself that is uh, taking a very log and converting it to a um, logic net as far as I understand, because my understanding of the whole FPGA stuff is still uh, very fresh. I uh, class in college, so I'm still catching up a lot. It's pretty awesome and very fascinating stuff. Yeah, I think we talked about this with Mubes uh, regarding um, uh, using some other chip instead of FTDI. And uh, yeah, the conclusion is basically you have to um, bid bang SPI in a like hoping that the timing will be right. And if you lose frames, it becomes bad. So yeah, it's not an ideal solution. Yeah, so this is taking a while. Arachna PNR, you're compiling. The stream is probably dying or died already a while ago.
Okay, so that's arachnopianer. Okay, now the last thing is Yosis. Yeah, this machine would uh, benefit from more RAM, 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 I think, too. Is it working? Is it running? It's like the machine is like really swapping now. <laughs> Okay, so this is compiling. I see that the stream is running on the uh, on the other computer. That my main computer is having the streaming computer is having trouble seeing that the stream is up. Yeah. So yeah, now we are compiling uh, Yoast. So that's the last part. Yeah, and the stream is uh, dying. Forty percent still compiling. Yeah, unfortunately, that's the same machine that I'm compiling on. I did not plan to do the stream uh, at the same time. Uh, I I would have recompiled and installed this stuff before doing a stream, but uh, um, I got badgered into making this stream again. <laughs> I showed that I was fixing the boards. I'm not sure how much of that you guys are actually hearing because, uh, yeah, it's still compiling.
Okay. I don't know how much of the audio or the uh, video you can you can see. It's like the audio might be coming through. It's like I'm just uh, now keeping quiet because I'm just waiting for the stupid compile to finish. I don't see any reason to talk when it is the audio is also broken up. I'm just reading the chat because you guys are having a lot of fun there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you need some penicillin. Yeah, I need a separate machine for uh, working on stuff and uh, the one from streaming. They shouldn't be on the same machine. But this is, uh, as I said, quite a hardware investment that I don't really have the money for at the moment. Uh, so yeah, eventually that will happen. But for now, we have to uh, power through with what I have. It's good that it is there at all, what it is, what there is, so yeah. Still compiling ABC. Yeah, Yosis is quite large. It has a lot of dependencies built in. I'm not sure I even need to compile Yosis in this case, but it's uh, better be safe than sorry later, even though it takes a while. Yeah, anyways, I, I think uh, the idea of uh, making a different uh, implementation that would be FTDI compatible that or what we can do with FTDI, that would be great. That's one thing. Uh, second thing, um, uh, oh yeah, Anon Nexus, don't worry about it. It's, it's fine, I know. You, if, if you need a lathe, you need a lathe. Um, You have to buy a new lathe. Okay, that's fine. That's totally fine. <laughs> it's your money. You, you you buy what you need or what you want to have. Um, and uh, yeah, lathes are awesome. I love, love lathes. I, I wish I had the space to put a lathe somewhere uh, and, or the, and or the time to actually play with a lathe. I don't really have the time for that. Um, yeah, but... Um, but uh, I, I really appreciate the stuff uh, with the lace and mills and uh, metal machining and all this stuff. It's like I'm not, not... Yeah, wood is also interesting. I've seen a bunch of uh, interesting wood projects using wood lathes. But uh, I think I, I enjoy the uh, metal lace um, more. It's uh, exciting stuff. So, so like tubal cane and um, uh, other channels that are really awesome. Um, so I'm watching it on YouTube, basically let's play for, <laughs> for machining and uh, manufacturing of uh, uh, custom metal parts. Um, yeah, I like that. Uh, what else? Let me go through this stuff. Uh, yeah, the problem with MPSSE, yeah, this is not simple to solve, especially with silicon off the shelf. Oh, it compiled. Yes, okay, good. So now, is there, there are examples in here. Uh, uh, Ice storm. I think there were examples in ice storm. Yes, ice blink, ice zoom, up five k RGB. Uh, let's see. 
Uh, I need the RGB PTF file. This is the pinout file. Uh, A5, B5, oh, that's the BGA part, right? Hmm. Make file for the, is that UWG30? Okay, oh, UWG is uh, the BGA part. So what we need, uh, so what we need is copy the RGB UWG into RGB, stop it, uh, RGB, uh, because this one is blinking the RGB LEDs uh, on that board using the RGB outputs, but I actually want to just do some stupid blinky stuff. Um, hmm. So what is the very log for that output, RGB012? And then it generates uh, PWM, and then it does fading on the RGB LEDs. Uh, and then it sets current, def param, it sets current on the pins. This is not what we want. Uh, we don't have the RGB LEDs connected on here. Um, so we will have to use something else. Let's try to go to the ice blink, maybe. I stick up 5K Mac 16. 5K Mac, what is this? Uh, poor. what is it doing? DSP out, it's using some DSP stuff. That's nice, but I just want some stupid blinky stuff. Um, so let's just copy ice blink into um, ice break blink. Uh, read me. This is know that this last two uh, evaluation board. Oh. Oh, it's called Ice Blink, that board. Uh, assumes Ice Blink HX1K board. So I want the Ice Stick. I think the Ice Stick is. Um, is the best, um, hmm. <laughs> oh God, we also synth ice 40. Top blith. Okay, that's correct. Then the device is HX1K. Now I have to figure out what is the device for um, for the part that we have on here. PNR. <sighs> because the LEDs will be IO. Oh, it probably will be the pinout of the chip. So this would be something like. These LEDs here. P 
So this would be 23, then Twenty three, twenty seven, twenty three, twenty seven, twenty five, twenty three, twenty seven, twenty five, uh, and this one is what? Twenty one, twenty one, and the clock comes in TDI clock thirty five, thirty five. So that's correct. Now, uh huh. Set input output. And this has output, output, output. It has the input clock. Uh, bits, counter, counter, log delay, counter. So that sounds good. Now the question is, what do I set here for device? Uh, up 5k Mac for 16. Let's look at the make file. Up 5k. Up 5k. But this will be wrong because, wait a second, 16 PCF. Yes, that will be the correct. Uh, 5K, 5K. Error, so what's the problem? Example A, ASC. Uh, PCF example blif. Vic oh, it's the wrong um, package. So this is the package is. Uh, oh God. SG forty eight. SG four eight. Unknown device, up 5K. Hmm, what am I doing wrong here? So it is, device is up 5K, synthize 40, device is up 5K, oh, probably there's something going on here. Let's copy the make file over here. And example ice blink PCF. Uh, yeah, we will rename that. Example. That's better. Okay, there we go. I think it uh, it worked this time. Yep, it has two pack packages as G forty eight and. Okay, so now. 
uh, how was the isprog minus s bin minus s example bin okay uh, use the above and um, so miodrag um, the make file that I used uh, will that not work is there a reason to not use the app 5k and use the 5k instead uh, oh arachne pnr you mean uh, so arachne arachne args arachne args these are empty then device is uh, substitute app, substitute hx, subst oh, it's deleting this and then just leaving the device, so 5k. So at the end is just 5k. That's interesting. Um, yeah, so it should, it should be basically the same what you said. It's just substituting it. And uh, sudo uh, prog minus s example bin so yeah uh, pff, what can go wrong Init C done low, reset low, programming C done low. Uh, okay. Silence. Huh. Uh, 23, so this should be 35, clock is 35, yes, FTDI clock. Um, the LEDs should be done, there, there. 2-3 yeah that seems correct mm, I'm seeming to missing to be missing something two three four and five and 25 23 27. yes. But the C done is not um, going up. So something is wrong there. Yeah. Yeah, I know. I. Yeah, thanks, James. Oh, yeah. So, oh, okay. I see. Yeah, I copied over the make file uh, from the other project. Um, so I adjusted that. So I, I removed that and changed that. Uh, I don't know how much, uh, how many minutes of delay there are because of my stupid uh, playing around with uh, with compilation of stuff. Yeah, I don't know. So that is that is a mystery at the moment. Why I can't um, upload anything. I will have to investigate further. Um, so the FTDA chip should be getting clocked. That's at least good. So ne next thing, it's trying to program the 
uh, FPGA and um, iceprog is being is there a verbose version can find iceftdi usb so it does do something oh it did did it did something oh because I added verbose. I don't understand how this works. I will have to learn more. And I don't think I want to bore you to death with that. At least we got the clocks working and the FTDI chip enumerates. Uh, there's no configuration of the FTDI chip, but it seems Ice, Iceprog doesn't seem to mind. Uh, yeah. I don't know, as Gur would say. I don't know. <clears throat> I need like buttons with, uh, with Gur uh, exclamation somewhere here. Yeah, interesting. So, well, uh, I, I am a little bit uh, flabbergasted at the moment. So, um, I think the example code should be fine. Uh, it is just taking um, binary counter and displaying it on the LEDs. The four green ones on the right changes value about uh, one as a second. Uh, I don't know if that's true or not with the 12 megahertz external clock, but that doesn't matter. It would do something. But the main main thing is uh, C done is low all the time, and it shouldn't be low uh, if you are successful. It's like, let me get the, um, where do I have it? There we go. I have here an uh, uh, ICE40HX, uh, 8k board and we will go um, hx 8k board make so let's do that disconnect this take a different cable just as a reference of what should be happening uh, what did I do with that cable boop, boop, boop. Uh, there we go. <clears throat> so that's the HX. There, that's the HX uh, 8K board. Um, so similar has an FTDI chip, has an FPGA on it. There. And now, if we plug it in, there's some code already on there, but uh, that's fine. And now, if we do this uh, example bin, oh, it's doing the same thing. Interesting. Oh, not S then. Ah, okay. Yeah, it's like f four minutes. That's a long time. Anyways, Miodrag, thank you. That's exactly what I wanted to hear. So raising the flash on the HX8K uh, uh, board. Is that supposed to take that long? Am I missing some jumper? I think I'm missing a jumper. I think this jumper is missing. Um,
Yeah, that one's better. Okay. Mm, whatever. So yeah, so that's good. So now let me disconnect and try it again. Uh, now that I know that I was doing it wrong. Uh, let's try it. Let's give it a shot. Once again. Ha! Ha 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 ha! It works! Holy crap! The Sedan LED is also blue. Is it nice? <laughs> Look at that! It's doing it! And all four LEDs. Oh my goodness, isn't that awesome? <laughs> Just worked! If you do it right, it suddenly works. Jesus. Awesome. So now, now we can finish. Now we can wrap it up. It's like we are quite a lot of minutes behind. But um, yeah, I, uh, I know that the, the buffer is uh, quite long, like uh, four or five minutes. So I will make sure to not uh, switch off the stream for another five to st uh, like 10 minutes or something. But uh, <laughs> this is amazing. It works. Jesus. Yeah. Do we want to try it again with another board that is empty? So let's try to unplug it and I plug it in again. Does it, does it boot nicely? Yes, it does boot nicely. Cool. That is so cool. Ah. Oh. Feeling so much better now. <laughs> Sweet. Okay, okay. Let's uh, let's try doing this uh, with the other board. I will do the same command, and I will keep it in the view. So like here, yeah. Let's see. And. Yes, yes, <laughs> second one works, <laughs> sweet, oh man, <laughs> okay, one more, one more, let's do one more, this one is empty too, I think, yep, yep, silence, yes, 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 yeah. <laughs> oh man, that is so cool. That is so awesome. I could watch it uh, all the time. Uh, anyways, it's it's really cool. I'm very excited. Whew. That was... Didn't take that long actually to bring up after I assembled it and we figured out that with the clock and then me fumbling around with ice storm because I am not used to it and I don't know the details of how to use it. And with Mjodrax and you guys help it's uh, it all worked and now we have a working FPGA board. Son of a gun. Isn't that great? Uh, yeah, anyways, uh, the chat is now catching up. <laughs> it's like with, with what I what I was uh, now saying. It's like now you will get uh, all of the uh, excitement uh, of mine uh, just uh, flushing. Anyways, uh, this is so cool. Uh, <laughs> uh, now we basically have to figure out that the rest of the peripherals works and uh, write a lot of code and um, add support and da 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 a lot of cool things but uh, basically when was that it was january 10th or something that um, i went to uh, vienna and started working on this board and got this board all turned around and put together in uh, 
in a few weeks uh, that doesn't happen that often it's really rare to have uh, from idea to a prototype that works uh, such an amazing turnaround that I, I that's very surprising besides the stupid uh, clock thing that I screwed up um, it seems to be working so far so now uh, I can uh, pack uh, a board and send one to uh, Clifford sent one to uh, Dave, FPGA Dave, and then uh, assemble more of those boards. Even though they have the botch, that's fine. We can start working on some software, some demos, uh, and some other cool stuff. Um, yeah. Anyways, um, thank you so much for all your help and your support uh, in the channel. Uh, as I said before uh, in the last stream, uh, please, uh, if you can, uh, support my uh, Patreon that you should find the link in the, in the doobly-doo under the YouTube uh, video. Um, it's um, one bit squared is the Patreon. It's patreon.com slash one bit squared. There is also LibraPay uh, website. Uh, if you can uh, donate some money to the channel, maybe we will be able to buy a computer to do the stream so that it doesn't cut out like this today <laughs> with that uh, um, with those donations. Uh, so yeah, we need some resources to make the stream better. But uh, if you don't have money, don't worry about it. That's all free. I thank you that for being here and joining the streams and uh, building awesome stuff together. All your input, all your ideas and all your help is very much welcome. And it helps a lot. Um, I, uh, I will um, now just... Uh, shut off the stream and I will just mute it and I think I will just let it run for like five minutes uh, so that uh, everyone can catch up and uh, please tell me uh, in the chat when you hear that I finished uh, streaming and um, as always if you have been thank you for watching <laughs>